Human rights, women's rights, safety and security. Growing concerns tonight over what's next for Afghanistan as the Taliban takes control. News 12's Eileen La Palmer takes a look. My job was to uh, secure the area. Daniel Murphy is the father of Lieutenant Michael P. Murphy, a Navy SEAL killed in Afghanistan in 2005. We all knew at some point we were going to have to leave Afghanistan. I have no problem with the decision. I have a real problem with the way they executed it. Today we are in West Sayville. He's showing me the soon to be opened museum dedicated to his son and those who did his job. They were there to find and uh, catch or kill the men responsible for 9-11. Now Murphy among those concerned that the Taliban back in control could lead to the resurgence of well-organized terror groups. We've lost a lot of intelligence. Uh, I, hopefully we don't see another 9-11. I think we put ourselves at risk. That concern so echoed today by former Republican Congressman Peter King. He served for 18 years on the Homeland Security Committee and nearly seven years on the Intelligence Committee. To pull out so quickly, we're going to lose that ability to keep Afghanistan from becoming a launching pad for terrorism. Also, we monitor what's going on in Pakistan from there, where there's also an Islam, uh, Islamist forces and there's nuclear weapons. And Daniel Murphy tells me he is also concerned about humanitarian issues. What does the Taliban takeover mean for the citizens of Afghanistan? He says his son, Michael, sometimes shared stories about that. He said that the men treated uh, their dogs better than they treated women. 20 years later, we just hand it to them. Wazma Hassan, who lives in Nassau, is the president of Afghan Americans of New York. She's fearful for her family members still living in Afghanistan, especially the young women. With who's governing the country right now, anything is possible. 15-year-olds are taken out of their homes, forcibly married to these individuals. And today, the Taliban vowed to respect women's rights within the norms of Islamic law. In West Sayville, Eileen LaPalmer, News 12, Long Island. Now, a spokesman for the Taliban also said today the Taliban would not allow Afghanistan to be used as a base for attacking other countries as it was in the years before 9-11.